Right, so, welcome indeed to a bit of Outer Wilds. To bring people up to speed on what's going on, um, effectively it is a mystery story game in the Unity engine, in which we play as a young astronaut. Uh, not the first astronaut, we're probably like number eight, num number seven or eight really, to leave the world of Timber Hearth, which is a forested world that we come from. Anyway, so welcome to Outer Wilds. Let's buckle up. Let's go. A large gas giant. Slowing down. Huh? huh? Is it not a gas giant? Is it just a, a planet with an extremely dense atmosphere? What happens if I attempt to land? Surely I'll die. Yeah, this is stupid. Wait, is it stupid? Am I going to explode? Oh, I don't like that at all. <laughs> oh, it's water. Wait a minute. It's not gas. I thought this was a gas giant. Here we go. Oh, we're going to die. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, that's creepy. What the fuck? Oh, God. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Okay. It's just an extremely dense... Whoa. Whoa. Wow. 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 Okay. What the fuck? What the fuck? It's just thick clouds. I thought it was a gas giant. 500 meters in front of me. Oh, look. A campfire. There. Here he is. Okay. What the fuck? Giant steep where the statues sleep. Ah. And here's Gabro. I'm told by the others that he's a bit weird. Hello, Gabra. Nice, it's you. Good to see you made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? So, hey, no, don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep, like, dying repeatedly. I don't know. It's pretty weird. Wait, he's aware, aware of it too? What about you? Have you died lately? Or is it just me? No, it's me too. We're in a time loop. Time has been behaving unusually lately. Yeah, a time loop makes sense. Cool. How are you not freaking out? What the fuck? You're taking this pretty well. Hey, right back at you. Personally, I like new experiences, but I've never been in a time loop before. I mean, I don't think I've ever been in a time loop before this one. It looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell that time's gone all weird. I tried radioing Hornfell and asking if they've died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. Even if I tell Hornfell about the time loop, they never remembered by the next one. They don't realise anything, anything's different. So I'm not alone. And here's another weird one for you. Every time I die, all of my memories from that loop replay back to me. I'm pretty sure that's related to the big stone of my statue I found on one of the other islands. Same. I was looking at it, and the statue opened its eyes and started glowing. It replayed my memories like it had seen them through my eyes, just like what happened each time I die. Yeah, that happened to me with the statue in the museum. You too, huh? Then the, the Namai statues must have something to do with why we're the only ones aware of the time loop. So, no glowing statue, no time loop awareness. I think that's going to be my leading theory. But if you find out anything new about the statues or the time loop, let me know, okay? I'll be here. 
how is space treating you? <laughs> God damn, what the fuck? Whoa, what the fuck? What's happening? Whoa! Whoa, what the fuck? What just happened? Huh? What's going on? I'm in zero G? Uh, dude? Uh, what? Dude? Why aren't you panicking? Oh! Oh god! <laughs> did- did we just go through the middle of- Oh god, this is terrifying. I don't like this. Um... Have you ever watched a cyclone for so long it started to hypnotize you? I'm telling you, they put you in a trance if you, if you stare at them long enough. How is space treating you? <laughs> What's up with this planet? Ah, I know, right? Oh, you meant like, tell me more about it? I got you. Well, Giant Steep is massive and mostly water. No surprises there. There's a strong current a ways beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. Seriously, I've tried everything I can think of to get past that current. Neither idea worked. Everything you can think of, neither idea. So two ide you've had two ideas. <sighs> what are you doing here? Ha, <laughs> what are any of us doing here, really? Nah, I'm kidding. I'm out here exploring our solar system, same as you. But I tell you what, outer space really gives you room to think. It's quiet and peaceful out here. He says, amongst huge cyclones the size of the atmosphere. I mean, it's usually quiet and peaceful. Sometimes a, cyclo a cyclone comes by and lifts my little island paradise clean out of the water. Then, less peaceful. Have, has anyone ever heard of the concept of negative panic? It's a concept in crowd control, which basically means that, you know how panic is bad? For example, when someone yells fire in a theatre and everyone panics and jams the exits? That's bad. But there's also something called negative panic, which is where people don't panic to the point that it will save their lives. For example, if someone in an aircraft says, we must leave now, and you sit calmly in your seat because you think everything's going to be fine, that's an example of negative panic. You should be leaving, quickly, smoothly, but you're not. You're just relaxing because you're assuming everything will be fine. But evolution gifted you with things like adrenaline to get your ass moving in times when you absolutely should be moving. What's his problem? What you got for me? I found your quantum poem. Did I? Oh yeah, the one in the woods? I remember writing that. Pretty fun, right? It works out to a good 24 poems. When I'm done exploring, I want to make some more quantum art. Ah! Are we, oh, the whole... I see the island's been lifted. Oh, Jesus. Are we in the sky? What the fuck? Are we in space? What the fuck? I can see stars. Oh, God. I see. The whole island is getting lifted out of the planet's atmosphere. Well, that's just terrifying. We're out of time. But both of us know. Both of us are about to experience the same thing. Here we go. What's this? The one with the arch. This must be it. Huh. A downwards facing mass mover from the Namai? Is it here to keep the island down? Whoops. Oh no. I can't breathe. Better now. More of their ruins. How well does my jetpack work in this atmosphere? Not well at all. It's okay, but it's not amazing. 
Statue workshop. Maybe not. The door is sealed. Uh, am I going to be okay? I don't feel okay. I feel very not okay. Oh, no, 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 I don't like that. Oh, 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 oh. Space. <laughs> ah, what's this? Oh. oh, I see. I stay here, I'm safe, maybe? D. Maybe if I don't get in one of those, I won't fall back to the planet and I'll be tra uh, trapped in space. Lammy, they're going to test the memory statue tonight. Flop says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. But what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? Flop specifically told us not to do that. Uh, I really want to see the test too, Lammy. But that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Flops will let us uh, see a, a later test. Memory statue. It's another one of these. It's another one of these symbols. I found these on Timber Half. I assumed they were like a transportation network or something. But then I found another one on the Black Hole Forge, which is at Brittle Hollow. Is it too part of the Black Hole Forge? Whatever that is. Then again, maybe not. The Black Hole Forge was said it, to you, said it was used to make some sort of warp drive. Maybe it's, maybe it's a place where the warp drive is inserted, mounted. Maybe. There's some writing on that wall. What is that? Ooh, whoa! Statues of glowing eyes. Sending signals back and forth? Communicating? Or maybe it's a representation of the Namai Festival, where they would get together and exchange ideas. Maybe this is simply a symbolic representation of that event. So maybe the time loop is intentional. Maybe it was created by them to try and figure out what the fu- Hang on, let me see that again. To try and escape their fate. Maybe that represents the loop. Maybe the AI, if they, if those are AI, if the statues are alive, are trying to figure out a way of escaping the loop. And they're dialing the Harthians in for some reason. I'm starting to, you know, I'm, I'm wondering if the statues are in fact some sort of administrative intelligence. Wait. They didn't use the door, and they snuck in the other way. What other way? It's a floating island that lifts up. Is the other way just moving underneath it when it lifts up? Can the ship just fly underneath it? I don't want to swim. It's the horrid, scary deep water. That sucks. That's a bad idea. It's a stupid idea. I don't want to do that. I don't want to fall into, like, super deep water and then get, like, eaten by a giant squid or some shit. It's terrifying. There's the music again. So, yeah, maybe I can try and just maneuver the ship under the island. It's over there. Damn, I should have left my scout over there, shouldn't I? That would have been a good idea. And wake up. Explosion in, in the sky. Both Gabbro and I saw it. The light went that way and the debris falls away. The shape of that structure looks quite similar to the... What was it called? It was like a mass driver or some sort of magnetic gun that's in a brittle hollow. Hey, Slate. Hello.
Oop, didn't mean to press that. Where'd it go? What the fuck? There we go. That's it. Was that a moon? Damn it, stop doing that. Let's switch into landing mode. What the fuck? What is happening? Hang on. get it. Oh, fuck you. I think I've just met the quantum moon, everybody, haven't I? Fine. Be that way. Appearing in multiple positions at the same time, depending on when you measure it. Show your face. Chicken. Yeah, there you are. Right, now fuck you. Watch this. Look at how smart you, quantum... No, I'm not. Fuck. Fuck. I looked away for two seconds. I was trying to... That's the that's the button I wanted. I've got an idea. Forget the moon. Come on down. Here it is. And... Gotcha. Although, let's be more precise, shall we? This specifically... I was wondering if perhaps I could navigate the ship beneath the island and dock. Because I'm too much of a chicken shit to go into the damn scary water. <laughs> oh, la, 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 la. There's the island. Let it fall straight back down. Damn it. Uh. Okay. Ah, what was that noise? Can the ship even go under? Safely? Whoa, that's the current. I see. Welcome to the statue workshop. A place of work for a civilization long dead. That's what was broken on the other side. The crack isn't a crack, it's a... Opening mechanism. The shard had shattered. The crack was never a crack. the stone heads of Easter Island, carving them directly from the rock, and they died in the middle of it. But why would a civilization this advanced spend time carving them from rock? Some sort of religious purpose? I think some of them are switched off. Yarrow. Would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue? When pairing, the statue will choose whoever is in closest proximity. See how its eyes have opened? That tells us the statue has paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in this star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project. Send them to the Ash Twin Project. I don't understand. This is extraordinary sculpting work, Phlox. He has outdone, outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test my memory storage prototype. Each statue will send a single Nomai's memories to his or her own storage unit within Ash Twin. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask the statue's counterpart, which will be able to send the, those stored memories back to the corresponding Namai. 
I've seen those masks on their drawings. That's one of their masks. I've seen it before. It's not referring to the time loop. It's referring to backing up memories and restoring them, isn't it? From the Namai. Through the mask to the statue. Or maybe that's the Namai? Organic? To the statue, to the Ash Twin project, maybe. And then back again. In a loop. Have they accidentally damned themselves? Trapping themselves for all eternity in a loop. Going crazy. Unable to die. The Ash Twin Projection Stone. I knew it. I knew that one of yeah that symbol represented the Ash Twins, which was one of the locations of the escape pods. One went to Brittle Hollow. The other went to Ash Twins. Rami, I've installed all masks inside the Ash Twin project. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. Rami, it's comforting to know that the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they only need to activate once the project succeeds as a safety measure. However, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. What is the Ash Twin Project? Why would they suddenly care about that so much on arriving at this system? They came here searching for a signal, following a signal. They were attacked by something, some sort of thorny something. And then when they arrived here, they decided to stop what they were doing and start building something around the Ash Twins? What? What would necessitate such a huge deviation? No, oh, this again. One, two, there's three of them. So maybe they're not AI after all. Those eyes looking at me are maybe the surviving Nomai trapped in whatever their project is. Unable to do anything, maybe? Okay. Statue Island. Statue Workshop. More to explore, apparently. I'm not done here. This island must be where the Namai created statues, like the one in our observatory. I found a Namai statue lying on the beach. It looked just like the one in our observatory. So it paired with Harthians accidentally. It said it, they do it via proximity. So maybe it wasn't a plan. Maybe there is no controlling AI. They're just interfaces for whatever their Ash Twin project is. Every memory recorded by a Namai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ash Twin. Maybe it's an arc. Like a literal arc, like a Noah's Ark to protect their civilization from from the end of the universe? Is that what they're following? The death of the universe when it starts again? Is that what they're trying to preserve? Something older than the universe, how could that be possible? Is there some way that their consciousness could be preserved into the next universe? Is that what they're trying? Is that why they've secured themselves, squirreled themselves away? via these, this memory saving technique inside Ash Twin. But if that's true, then why all the dead Numai that died everywhere? You think their plan would have been... Well, it said it would only activate when it succeeds. So why is it activated? That's the next question. Then what's all that bullshit in the school back at Brittle Hollow? Ah, the eye is, is whatever you want it to be. Wouldn't they just spell it out? Why be so cryptic? Especially if they've been here for hundreds and hundreds of years. 
And why can it interface with Harthians? What's that about? We come in proximity to it? You'd think an advanced alien race would make it so their special super amazing project wouldn't activate when it encounters a Harthian. That's a bit of a fuck up, surely. Unless the Harthians have something to do with it. Unless the Harthians are maybe devolved Namai or something. Let's go back and talk to Gabbro. See what he thinks. Whoops. What am I doing? He's not here. Whoop. Hey, if it isn't my time, buddy. How's space treating you this loop? How can you stay so calm in the face of repeated impending death? Deep breaths. No, seriously. I meditate. Want me to teach you? I'll. It'll be in the next loop before you know it. Yeah. Okay, close your eyes. Really? 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 We just closed our eyes and died. Dude, that doesn't help. We're trying to figure out how to escape the time loop, not relax and just do another time loop. Weird. Um, a few loops ago, a cyclone came and tossed... Whoop, what the fuck? And tossed my little island in, into space. Dying like that was kind of unpleasant. Okay. I found something. So, I've reached the inside of Statue Island. So, the Namai created those head statues to record memories, huh? Yeah, I could see the Namai doing that. Not sure what for, but it seems like their sort of thing. Do you think the statues are recording our memories then? Because I remember that one that one on the beach looked at me funny. That must be my memory friend. Hmm. It's cozy. Except for the rain. You couldn't like put it inside the cave? Shelter yourself from the rain? Ooh, fish. Okay. Right, let's go check out some of the other islands here then. What is this place? Oh, it's that thing in orbit. What is it? This is it, isn't it? We finished building the final orbital probe cannon module and are ready to send it into orbit around Giant Steep for assembly. Orbital probe cannon? Our next step will be to send Privet up to the orbital probe cannon to install the probe tracking system. To all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tireless work. I had given up hope, but I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where many other attempts have not. Are you going gelatinous on us, love? I'm delighted by your words, but they're atypical for you. If I'm ever half as gooey as Mallow and Avens behave together, Daz, you may launch me from the orbital probe cannon. <laughs> if I know if I know my brother, Avens, and his spouse um, will want to launch sorry, Avens and his spouse will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible. I'm worried the cannon would break under the strain. I propose we give Arvin and Mallow a slightly lower maximum power setting than, ma than absolutely maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. This doesn't sound like a weapon of last resort or a desperate act from a species about to go extinct. They sound excited to launch a probe. A probe to what and why? But it just launches. We see it launch and then explode. But this must have happened hundreds of years ago. 
Is this the building cradle for it? It looks too small. They died on the construction gantry itself. Translator of the text. Shit. Get in, get in, get in. Let me in, let me in. Kesava. Conoy, Daz, and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Kasava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but we're very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? We thought it was impossible for any cannon component to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire Construction, sorry, Spire constructed a model of Giant Steep here in Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory, and it revealed how an object might sink below the current. Conoy, I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. There are two trailheads, one at Brittle Hollow's Gravity Cannon, and one at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. I've only been to one of them. Okay, so we now know how to get to the observatory. Maybe the gravity cannon would be safer. I know that the Tower of Quantum Knowledge collapses very soon after, well, we get there. Okay, so we know how to get to the observatory at Brittle Hollow. 16 minutes, 11 seconds ago. Long-range probe successfully launched from the orbital probe cannon. It's tracking the precise time that we saw that explosion. I'm, I'm so, what do you mean successfully launched? Your probe exploded. Your orbital probe cannon exploded. The text is updating live, isn't it? 16 minutes, 30 seconds ago. Control module projection stone. I have bad news, Arvin. Yarrow says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Kasava. I wish I were, my friend, but no. They aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on indefinite hiatus. Tell Privet and Mallow they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. An update. Mallow and I will join you and Daz. Privet left to visit her brother. She fears Idea may feel responsible. There's a problem with the proposed power source for the cannon? So it never fired. But we saw it fire. Seventeen minutes twenty-three seconds ago it fired. And then exploded. Man sitting down, pooping. Man sitting down, playing ball and pooping. Man puking into something. Right. Oh shit. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where am I? Look, I see. So this must be the bridge. That's Giant Steep, isn't it? This is the bridge of the cannon to communicate with anybody up there. Wait, so if I'm physically seeing, 
I'm physically seeing that, then it's not in my head. As in... Hang on. That means the other one. I'm looking at the storage devices, aren't I? Inside the Ash Twin project. They're not AI, are they? So I'm looking at the blue lit storage devices. The masks, right? Inside the Ash Twin project. So three of them were lit up. Does that mean that three statues are activated? If three statues are activated, and we've located two, who's the third? Who's the third statue? Someone else is, is aware of the time loop. There's someone else. Someone else knows. I don't know what these two are. What does the timepiece say? 22 minutes and zero seconds. Oh, the star just went Nova. So it goes Nova on every 22 minutes. Why? So it doesn't have something to do with this device. This isn't the thing that's triggering it. Why is the probe explode firing now? So many questions. And wake up. We open our eyes to see something flash in the sky. A blue light floats away from some sort of a ship, which then falls into what looks, looks like a gas giant. Let's go back to Giant's Deep. There's more that I can investigate there, specifically the other island that was covered in thorns. Let's go. Ghost matter detected. Dangerous. I can only detect it via the camera. So don't go that way. Here we go. What is that? It looks like it has limbs. Shit, 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 shit. Shit. Hang on to something. Here we go. There we go. Splash underwater. We're okay. The ship's okay. Oh no, it's not okay. It got flung. Damn it. Okay, hang on. Can I make it back inside? Damn it. That's going to be a big problem. Okay. Quickly get it back into a position. Actually. Damn, is it stuck? Oh, no, we're okay. We're okay, we're okay. Woo! There we go. Dunk it down quick. Somebody set up a campfire here. Look. Looks like a... A jellyfish almost, like a growth. Frozen in another one of these crystal shards. Uh. Trip four. Entry, whatever. Crashes, two. Boring crashes, zero. Remember to see slate when I get back. Haha, <laughs> yeah, yeah. All the way down to the core. Consider yourself conquered, Giants Deep. You just got feldsparred. Feldspar? Holy shit. So Feldspar went down to the core? That was one of my more dramatic feats, if I do t if I do say so myself. Can't believe I wasn't electrocuted. Ah, can't wait to tell Hornfell and Gossen about this one. I guess brute force isn't always the answer. Right, so there's one more off the list. That's one more off the list. Seems all that's left is the big one now. Dark Bramble. Here I come. No one knows what happened to Feldspar. He disappeared. But he went to Dark Bramble, at the very least. 
I wonder if uh, Gabbro knows that. That's his campfire over there. The planet falls, rather. The island falls. I like the attention to detail. They've even gone and put the uh, the shape of the island in the water there. So on one of these islands, they were building the probe cannon. Its purpose is not clear. It seemed to be the, the work of Cassava, one of the Namai. She died there, apparently. Where is it? That's the statue island. The star just exploded. as we can. Here we go. Okay. Here's Brittle Hollow. Now where should we go? We should probably land. Hmm. So what, yeah, so this is some sort of, I, I'm guessing a research facility? I can't breathe. Whoop. That is a black hole. It is an accretion disk of a fucking black hole. And that is scary. Okay, so. Yeah, this must be it. This must be the way. Okay, so. Is it broken? It. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. No, 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 what the fuck has happened? How am I not dead? Where am I? I thought I was gonna die. It's not a black hole? I was supposed to be ripped apart. One of the Namai was talking about White Hole Station. Is that it? Okay, well I'm out I'm all the way out here without oxygen. Like an airlock. Oh, yeah. that represent? That symbol is new to me. That one represents Brittle Hollow, with the observatory on its south side. Transfer to Brittle Hollow? A control system? Poke. Welcome to the White Hole Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first, this warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower's warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body. Okay. Uh, in this case, Brittle Hollow. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during this alignment to be warped. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. Oh. Huh. A fast travel system that they set up. I 
keep I keep seeing this not the specific symbol, but certainly this device all over the place. Is this one of their warp cores? Maybe? The power source? Seems smaller than the other ones I've encountered. That tiny item there that's drawing little embers, motes or something. Projection stone. I can place this in two. Hmm, that just dropped on the floor. Whoa, whoa. Okay. I see. So when it's in line with Brittle Hollow, what happens? when it lines up fully. Does like a platform glow? Does this platform glow? Oh, oh, oh okay. Whoa, shit. Okay, whoa. Oh, okay. I figured it out. I was right. I was bang on the money. My first guess. <laughs> Holy shit. My first guess was on the money. It is a transport system. It's for moving mass, which is why it was outside the mine on Harthian. It's to move mass between the individual projects of the Namai. Okay. So they're using the black hole to move mass around the solar system. Huh. This works? Return warp... Uh, sorry. Return warp status charged. Step onto the warp receiver platform to activate return warp. Where the hell am I? F Feldspar spare jetpack... Uh, jetpack fuel. It's annoying to schlep across the planet to the ship if I can't use my jetpack, so I'm leaving this here. I check with my little scout. Uh, I do too use it. Hornfells, you burnt sorry, you burnt marshmallow, and the scout's integrity re integrity reading says this place of brittle hollow is as stable as any. But who knows? If the fuel's still around, feel free to use it. If not, well, uh, wherever you're reading this note, I'm sure you've got bigger problems. I see, we're just above the Hanging City. Clary, to our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just walked here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. Our destination worked. Sorry, our design work, uh, worked. We successfully recreated warp travel. This is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower. Although, it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. I don't know how close it is to a known as original design, but as long as... Uh, what we've built works, then I'm delighted. Okay. Have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate causality. There must be an equipment error. I'm returning to the White Hole Station. If you and Root meet me there, we can run full diagnostics and hopefully locate the problem. Yeah, they did, didn't they? A couple of them returned to... Th ah, there we go, hang on. There's a projector. So yes, a couple of them returned to the White Hole Station. I didn't find them there. This is the Ash Twin Project. Whoa. 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 I didn't expect this. I thought I was going to see the room with the masks. I'm on the surface of the Ash Twins. One of the two Ash Twins. This must be one of the towers that they were talking about. They said that they were taking mass away from Harthian, uh, sorry, uh, Timber Hearth, in order to build towers. Okay. So this is part of the Ash Twin project, whatever that may be. Are there any other tablets to project? Yeah, one of the dead, Namai. Again, they all died exactly where they stood. Rami and I, this is someone called Pi, I don't think I've met him before in, in the text. Rami and I reviewed the records you sent, Poke, and they appear to show Namai are arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from White Hole Station. Pi, as I've already told Rami, these measurements can't be accurate. How can a Namai arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she ever stepped onto the teleporter? The implications are absurd. Rami, 
poke, as Pi is confident the reading is accurate, she's kindly helping me attempt to recreate the phenomenon at the High Energy Lab. We're designing an experiment to take more data. An update. Poke. Sorry, Pi talking to Poke. The High Energy Lab is in the canyon on Ember Twins Equator. Come here at once. You need to see this. I don't disagree. It would mean, says Poke, I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We would have to reconsider all of our beliefs about the nature of time. Rami, yes, I hope so too. Poke. I understand it's exceedingly odd, but Clary and I have tested and retested the equipment, and the result is the same every time someone warps. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundred thousandths of a second. Do you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time to such a small degree? Okay, maybe the results of these experiments on the Ash Twins resulted in the Ash Twin project. Because they certainly abandoned, or seemed to abandon their search for the... for whatever the eye of the universe was the moment they got here. Don't tell Cassava. Oh. Okay. Well, that's some relief then. Sorry, I thought I was going to get pulled to spaghetti by falling into the black hole. Okay. We may as well meditate then. Okay. So, we're going to meditate... Whoopsie. Fuck. Meditate until the next loop. Here we go. So, the star explodes. We die. We wake up again. Okay. Uh, I could go down there if I wanted to meet Rybeck playing his banjo. But let's find the quantum... There it is, the quantum tower. A tower, or whatever it's called. The ship won't last long. This place collapses into the black hole. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes! Alright. Okay. Damn, that crystal's fell out of its shell. Can I go up there? Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. Okay, so I've just got to... Okay, I'm okay. <laughs> Oi. Ooh. Okay. Must be it. This is the observatory. Okay. Yeah, just, you know, casually, just, you know, over the top of a quantum singularity. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, the ghost matter's there. Don't fall into the black hole that will rip me apart. Potentially. Uh, okay. Okay, we're fine, see? We're fine, see? We're fine. We're fine. We're okay. Ah, the observatory. Okay, we can do it. If, we, if I made that jump, I can make this jump. Ooh, more glowing crystals down there? Oh, see, they're broken all the way up. Okay. Oh, shit. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. We're here. I've done it. Right. So, Spire... Apparently, uh, sorry, a Nemai called Spire was the one that handled the observatory. I wonder if we can find records. Conoy. Whoops. Cassava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant's Deep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit. But one component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. 
Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. An update. It's now clear that there are two different types of cyclone. Most cyclones on Giant's Deep rotate clockwise. These are cyc cyclones that Cassava typically uses to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the water and below the current. My gratitude, Spire. Conoy is showing me your handiwork, and I'm intrigued by the secondary type of cyclone. But was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant's Deep. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. <laughs> cool. Well, that solved that mystery, and also explains how... Um, Feldspur got underneath the current. So we can go to Giant's Deep in order to investigate further. Ah, so the projection stone of Giant's Deep. But what will it show me? Transmission location, Brittle Hollow, Giant's Deep projection stone. Oh, it's not a projection pool, that is. Text. Cassava, so she's the manufacturer of the probe. Conoy, Daz and I were lifting orbital probe components into orbit for assembly and one somehow sank. Oh, I, I think I've read this. This is the same message. Yeah. So a piece of the probe sank. One second. So projection pool, brittle hollow, giant steep. What do we see? This is the construction cradle. Yeah, so this is how they're communicating back and forth. Okay. Right. Ah. The door. It was broken from the outside. The inside mechanism is enabled. We can now access the surface directly. Okay. Is. That's very cool. Brittle Hollow, the world we're standing on. Black holes and banjos. Giant steep where the statues sleep. I've never been here. I've seen it using my telescope. Show me. That thorny world. Shit, I don't have long. Hang on. What have we learnt thus far in our search for the eye of the universe? Asks Conoy. Mallow says, based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around this star system sun. This would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. Those of us on the vessel, the ship that they used to get here, originally followed the eye signal to this star system, but we were unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built on the Atle Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here were both unable to detect any trace of the eye's signal. Hypothesis. The eye has stopped emitting its signal. Cassava. Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Cassava. How can you suggest that? The eye signal called out to summon us to this star system. I'm aware. I grew up hearing the eye story, yet we're no closer to finding it than you were when we first arrived here. But there, there, there it is. That's the symbol of the eye of the universe, whatever it means. What the fuck? What? Okay. Unable to determine orbit, no signal detected matching any known criteria for the eye of the universe. How should our methods change as we continue our search for the eye of the universe? Asked Conoy. We know what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon, so what if we try to find the eye uh, visually instead? Let's send out a probe. 
Mallow's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction will... Oh no... No, you didn't! You idiots! I know what they did. I believe we have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken to Rami and Pi about the technology they're developing? As we couldn't find the eye signal using two different devices built for this exact purpose, we should discontinue the search method. We need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Giant's Deep would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch. And it's moonless, except when the quantum moon is visiting. Yes, let's build a cannon in orbit around Giant's Deep. I think I know what they did. That's what the Ash Twins project is, isn't it? It's a time loop. It resets time. And then they launch the probe every time in a random direction. Giving themselves the time to potentially find whatever this thing is. They trapped themselves, didn't they? They trap themselves in an endless time loop. Hoping that one day they would find it. How long have they been in this loop? How much time has passed? Is it just this solar system? Jesus. Okay. What part were they launching that sank beneath the waves? What has that got to do with anything? So we now have a way of getting beneath the current of Giant's Deep where the statues sleep. Right. What the hell is the eye of the universe? Can I just say how, imp uh, how sort of impressed I am by the game's overall... It, it's, it, I mean, it's hard to describe. It feels like it's just like stuff like this, just little details like liquid solar system being made. All those little clever details that they're putting in really gives it a sense of... I don't know. Gives it a sense of soul. Hmm. So yeah, they trapped, I presume they trapped themselves in this solar system. Continually trying to find the eye. Launching a probe every single time. Maybe they only come up maybe they only came up with that plan when they made their discovery from the White Hole Station. When they realized that they could fiddle with time uniquely here. Let's meditate then. cannon is destroyed. Every time we wake up, that probe flies off in a different direction. Right. Next stop then, let's go back to Giant's Deep and let's go deeper into Giant's Deep. Figure out exactly what fell off that cannon. Hmm? Here we go. Coming in for land. Okay. Hold on to your butts. Whoop. Whoa, holy shit. Oh, wow. We're beneath the current. Oh, what the fuck is that thing? That's terrifying. What the fuck is that? Hang on. What the fuck? What? Ah, fucking hell, what the fuck? Uh... What? Hello. 
What is that? I don't like that. I'm not happy now. I don't like that. I don't want to go near that. The same electricity that's traveling across the surface is touching these jellyfish. Hello. Oh, oh, bar oh, 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 shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Fuck, fuck. Am I okay? I'm okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're not getting, getting anywhere near that thing. We'll find somewhere to land, fix the vessel. Oh, shit! Oh god. Oh god. We died? I've never seen that before. <laughs> oh shit. The ship exploded. Okay. Right. So, whatever fell to the core of the planet won't let me go near it. Strange. It seems to channel electricity through the vessel, or through the probe. Ocean depths. The ocean is surprisingly calm beneath the current. Some sort of electrical field surrounds the planet's core. Huh. Maybe, maybe it would be a wise idea to go to Dark Bramble. Follow his footsteps, figure out exactly where he went. And also, if we go to Dark Bramble, we'll be able to see what happened to the third Nomai escape pod. Okay, uh, one fight. Sorry, um, uh, sorry to uh, cock block you guys there. Um, let's let's go back to Brittle Hollow because there is a prominent location I never explored. The cannon. What's the cannon? Why is there a cannon being built on on Brittle Hollow? First. Let me check something. So those are the towers that have collapsed. Yes, it is more or less... ...exactly aligned. We're looking for a campfire, I think? Ah. Alternatively, can we just land on the cannon? We might just be able to get away with landing on the cannon. Let's have a go. So. Okay. Brittle Hollow projection stone. A projection pool. From Brittle Hollow to Brittle Hollow. What can you see? I don't know this room. Unless it's the lower part of the quantum research tower. Or writing. Stand by. I'm at the shuttle, says Solanum. I'm ready to make my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. Bells. That's exciting. You're almost ready, but there's still one more rule you need to learn. Come see me at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Bells. The tower is on the opposite side of Brittle Hollow. If you follow the path west to the crossroads, you can reach the tower from there. Solanum. My gratitude for the directions, Bells. I'll see you soon. Okay. Follow the path west to the crossroads. I'm guessing that's where Rybeck is. He said he found an area of high structural stability and he's staying there. He's playing his banjo because he's terrified. To be fair, I would be too. Hundred percent integrity. This won't fall at the moment. The Southern Observatory. That way? Okay. What's this, though? Mass cannon of some description? Does it launch mass? The shuttle is currently resting at the quantum moon. The shuttle. The device that the guy used to get himself to the quantum moon. Call the shuttle home. Activate the gravity cannon. I see. 
call the shuttle home. So they devised a way to get to get to the quantum moon. The quantum moon appears to be moving around based on when you're recording it, when you're seeing it. The Namai didn't know what it is either. We think that the small rocks that come all over the place might be pieces of the quantum moon. A ship of no my construction. Whoa. 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 Wow. Solanum, I'm here. After watching it wander the skies for so long, I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will be making the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole, just that, it's, just that it is true. As a child, I considered such unknowns sinister. Now though, I understand they bear no, no ill will. The universe is, uh, and we are. Okay. I am ready. Okay. What? Oh, that's returned. Okay. Must be something I don't know. A piece of the puzzle that I do not have. And that piece must be at the quantum tower. Okay, there's still more I need to learn here. Did that go anywhere? Over there? The crossroads. Let's go to the crossroads. We'll meet Rybeck. So Rybeck managed to get lucky. He said he fell down the gravity devices of uh, these, of the Namai. He landed on the surface. So this is the crossroads. I see. So from here, we can go to the quantum tower, the cannon, where they launch their ship towards the quantum moon, the, uh, hanging, si the hanging city where they live, hmm, and the southern observatory. Hey, Rybeck. Oh, you launched. That's great. Good job, you. Wow, I, I guess that means I've been here for a while, huh? Well, this is this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. Lots of history here. It's great. Um, I'm in a hurry. Can I ask you something? Yeah, sure, of course. Anything you want. Uh, so I've learned something. Oh, cool. What is it? Okay. Uh, so I saw the old settlement. I saw the Hanging City. You visited the Hanging City? Oh, gosh. How was it? Was it amazing? Was it beautiful? Was it scary? The Hanging City is where the Namai settled permanently on Brittle Hollow. It was their most advanced settlement here. Why they chose to build them, their most advanced settlement so close to you know what is beyond me. Maybe that's some kind of uh, maybe maybe that words. Maybe that kind of thing makes sense to a Namai though. Maybe they needed the black hole for something. Indeed, so that they were using it to teleport. It seems. Though not initially, because they said they only recreated that technology. Oh no, I may still have time. We'll see. I may still have time. Let's try and get to the quantum black. Did I do that? Whoops. Here we go. Ready? No! No! Piss fuck! Piss! I'm going to die. Well, not really. Ah. Ooh, whoa. Whoa. I'm orbiting the black hole. What the fuck? No, 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 no. I don't want to be spaghetti. I'm, I'm, I'm casually orbiting a quantum singularity. As you do, everybody. Hang on. That's the. Mm, up a bit. Up a bit. Up a bit. Oh no! <laughs> I just brained myself on the side of the Namai ruin. Oops. Okay. Um. That was stupid. Oh dear. 
Okay. Didn't die. No, no. So the Namai have done something to the black hole. Instead of stretching me like a piece of taffy, which is what would happen as you get spaghettified, they've instead placed some sort of transit system for safety. So this is their transit system. Which I'm going to activate and point towards. Brittle Hollow. But yes, in the real world, uh, black holes would... Well, so the, the the larger the black hole, weirdly, the larger the black hole, the safer you are. Uh, for you can actually enter the edge of the black hole and be... Sort of the edge. You, you can enter it and not be killed immediately as you fall towards it. A smaller one, though, is very, very dangerous. For the uh, relative distance between your head and your feet means that you'll be experiencing a different... Oh, is that the... No, we're okay. Um, yes, the difference between... Uh, so the distance between your head and your feet means that you will be stretched. You will be pulled apart. How can a singularity be larger than another one? Well, it's just, it's just an amount of mass. That's the thing. So a black hole is, as crazy and scary as they seem, it is just another source of gravity. It is just another bunch of mass all in one place. Uh, it's ultimately not that different from a planet. planet have gra well, a planet has a gravity well. Any amount of mass has a gravity well. So it's bending space-time to the point that it's creating a cone. So that's all a black hole is doing. It's just doing it so much that uh, light cannot escape, which is what makes it so horrifying to look at. So yeah, if you were to swap out our sun, for example, with a black hole, you really wouldn't, well, apart from it being very fucking dark and cold, you probably wouldn't notice a huge difference. It would just be another source of gravity. It's not going to suck up the entire solar system if it's of the same mass. That's, that's the project there, isn't it? There we go. What does he do? What noise does he make when he wakes up from being burnt? <gasps> yeah. There goes the probe. There goes the cannon. Okay. Hey, let's sleep. This thing gets destroyed quite quickly, so we don't have long. Okay, so we need to learn what we can about the quantum moon. Unbuckle. Ooh. Here we go. So as the lava moon above our heads is being pulled apart by tidal forces. Pieces of it are raining down, destroying the crust, causing the entire, well, the entire planet to start collapsing. Maybe the process has, has accelerated for some reason. Especially considering they're using the black hole for point-to-point -point teleportation, so that would have been rather inconvenient if you were trying to build a space station. Here we go. Give me a second now. One more chunk should do it. There it is. There's the moon. Is that us? Whoa, we're going. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, here we are. work it did work it worked okay I did it I was right I'm here get inside the tower and figure out what they knew he died using the observation pool would it still function Why 
one level up. Okay. Bells, welcome, Solanum. Your arrival here means you've completed your preparations on Giant's Deep and you're ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. On your pilgrimage, the Quantum Moon will carry you, just as it carried me and many in our clan before me, to the Moon's sixth and most secret location. You'll be aided in your pilgrimage by the Shrine uh, our clan built on the Quantum Moon. But remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the Shrine must be on the Pole's, sorry, the Moon's North Pole. Be curious on your journey. The shrine? The shrine our clan built on the quantum moon. But remember in this, this, this final rule, to explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. The quantum moon's north pole? a scroll. I need to remove this one. Empty socket. Bells, if you're here to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, I'm almost out of time. You are almost prepared to set out on this deeply significant journey. Before you do, pause and remember your history. We make this journey not only for ourselves, but also to honour the members of our clan who came before us. Those who, after the crash that brought them to this star system, became stranded on Brittle Hollow and on Ember Twin, with no communication between those two groups of survivors. These Namai looked upwards from two different planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting their skies. And it was this, this moon, the Quantum Moon, that kept their curiosity alive during this long period of hardship. After the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became our clan's united goal to find any, sorry, find and visit the Quantum Moon. This took time, and many Nomai who dreamt of seeing the Quantum Moon died before we discovered how to make the journey. When you reach the Quantum Moon, recall these Numai, Numai and carry their curiosity onward with you. The symbols of each of the planets, Timber Half. Wait, the Eye of the Universe? Shit. No, it's too soon. The Eye of the Universe is above this? Wait, the Quantum Moon? Is that the Eye of the Universe? It can go there. It can travel there. It can move across all of these planets one by one. And then it goes to where they're trying to find? Was it the secret the whole time? The sixth location.